Do you know what is chemotherapy? What is it exactly? What all do you study in clinical pharmacology? Why is it named so? Why is pharmacoepidemiology so important? All these questions will be answered to the best of your knowledge and satisfaction in today's episode. So let the talk commence. Welcome all to Is Pharmacology Difficult podcast. I'm your host Dr. Radhika Vijay, MBBS MD Pharmacology and this is the audio hub to get the best simplified basic tips, strategies, methods and lots of ideas to learn better, understand better and make your concepts crystal clear if you really find and if there's a question hovering in your minds is pharmacology difficult lend me your ears for a while and let in the magic of knowledge now let's talk about chemotherapy the term had initial limited meaning it was used to describe the drug effect upon microorganisms or parasites now they were in the living or multiplying state found in the living organisms now drugs possess selective target action or let's be a little more specific they have toxicity for the infecting organisms and nowadays they also have target action on the malignant cell and the host stays unaffected well that's how i actually describe the selective toxicity of these drugs nowadays they are referred also for the drugs targeting the cancerous cells to treat the malignancy now broadly saying they can be either pharmacodynamically effective or simply they may act as chemotherapeutic agents targeting only and only the malignant cell or the infecting organisms and in the whole process they spare the host what more for today well that was a good brief talk about the topic chemotherapy I will also tell you another very important branch or subdivision of pharmacology the name of which goes something like clinical pharmacology now as the name suggests its basic focus is on the clinical use of drugs the drugs can be old or they can be new ones and clinically the drug can be evaluated in both the diseased person or the non diseased person then later useful data and insights they can be gained uh, regarding the potency safety efficacy appropriate drug use doses and potential harmful effects of the drug well you might be wondering what is the goal of this particular branch the goal all in all it can be achieved by what methods let's get to know them the goal of this branch can be achieved by drug pattern surveillance and monitoring and comparing these with other forms of drugs and treatment via apt clinical trials adr monitoring after the drug marketing can also be done in this particular field Now let's summarize the important points for clinical pharmacology. Now clinical pharmacology is a wonderful branch. It provides scientific basis for number 1 effective, safe and rational therapy of drugs. Well, that's very evident. Second point, it provides scientific basis for the individualized drug therapy for important diseases. That's a great idea. And last but not the least, 
Third point, it helps in the development of evidence-based medicine. And how does it do that? By helping in safe and sound introduction of novel drugs and medicines. Well, that was the whole idea about the clinical pharmacology and what all it covers. Now, a bonus set of information from my end to yours about one more branch coming up. Let's talk about pharmacoepidemiology. Yes, epidemiology, it has to do something with the population. And because it is pharmacoepidemiology, it is a study of drug effects on population. Yes, you're right. It's done in a proper way after the clinical approval of drug. And you know what? Until and unless the population doesn't use the drug widely, the risk-benefit ratio of the drug cannot be determined. And that makes the study of this particular branch so damn important. Are you wondering, are there more important branches of study in the field of pharmacology? Well, what are they? And what is the information and different aspects of these branches? All about them will be discussed in the next episode. For all the updates and latest episodes of my podcast, please visit www.ispharmacologydifficult.com where you can also sign up for a free monthly newsletter of mine. It actually contains a lot of updates about the medical sciences, drug information and my podcast updates also. You can follow me on different social media handles like Twitter, Insta, Facebook and LinkedIn. All with the same name is Pharmacology Difficult. If you are listening for the first time, do follow me here, whatever platform you are consuming this episode. Stay tuned. Do rate and review on iTunes Apple Podcast. Stay safe. Stay happy. Stay enlightened. Thank you.